Fired up? Fired up. Ready to go? Ready to go. You fired up? Fired up. You ready to go? Ready to go. Then I'm going to tell you what we need to do. First, I want to ask a question. What's the purpose of tonight's gathering? Is tonight's gathering's purpose to vote for the person we just love to love? Or do we want this to have an even bigger impact? Do we want to send a message yes. to our fellow Democrats and to voters across New Jersey and perhaps across the country who we think is not only the best candidate to represent the Democratic Party, but one we know who can win. I remember, and I'm sure you do, in an election a, a number of years ago, there were many who were convinced that, that one candidate wasn't pure enough and it made no difference and they were going to vote for Ralph Nader. They said that Al Gore wasn't good enough, wasn't pure enough. And because they voted for Ralph Nader, because people said it didn't make a difference between George W. Bush and Al Gore, we got George W. Bush. And so, I believe any of our Democratic candidates would be far better than any of the Republican candidates. But let me tell you this, I'm tired of Republican presidents. I don't want another Republican president. I started my career about 30 years ago as a member of the Young Democrats and the Democratic County Committee, and worked in the party and helped candidates and got elected mayor of my hometown of the city of Englewood 25 years ago, the youngest mayor in the city's history, and was elected countywide in Bergen County as the county surrogate court judge. Practiced law for a long time and then got elected to Congress. I'm in my 11th year in Congress. I have never met, I've met kings and queens and royalty and prime ministers and presidents. I've never met anyone smarter, more genuine, more able than Barack Obama. Not only is Barack Obama an able Democrat with the progressive agenda of virtually everyone in this room. And by the way, the Democrats here share practically the same agenda. And Barack Obama did get it right the first time and did announce his opposition to the war before the first vote. We want a Democrat who can win. Does it make any sense, for example, with respect, to nominate someone who half of the country's voters already say they don't like and won't support? Does that make sense for the Democratic Party? When Barack Obama, when Barack Obama gets sworn in as the President of the United States, with our shared progressive agenda, with his brilliance, his gift of oratory, his gift of writing, his gift of bringing people together from all walks of life, not just in the Democratic walks of life, but Republican, Independents, and Democrats. And he gets sworn in in Washington, D.C., and that image is beamed across the world. What a message. The world will know. What a message. America, thank God. God, America has come back to its senses. America is America again. America has not elected someone from the old guard. People will not, we will not have elected someone with the same old Washington thinking, careful about what they say, because they're not really sure who they are. The reason why people love Barack Obama, among many reasons, is because of his genuineness. He speaks from the heart because he's not confused or conflicted about what his heart is saying. 
And so he does not worry that what he said might offend Mitt Romney's voters or Rudy Giuliani's voters. He says what he knows is the truth and what he expects to do when he becomes president. We have an opportunity to change America and to change the world. This is not a frivolous moment, this election or this evening. If we are to make the most of this gathering, let us send the message that we want the Democratic candidate to win in November of 08, and we've chosen the best Democratic candidate who we know will win. That's Barack Obama. Any other message, any other message, any other message will imply that we're divided and maybe not ready to face the reality of a divided country. Did you ever meet a Republican who does not respect Barack Obama? I never have. Not a Republican or independent. They know he's genuine, brilliant, a uniter, person who listens but they respect him. And by the way, we want a candidate who will get Democrats elected to the House and the Senate, and he's the only one. If there are others of these good candidates who are nominated, we will lose House seats, and we will lose Senate seats across the country, and if you don't believe me, read about it and think about it. Let's do the smart thing this time. Yes. Elect nominate the best Democrat who will win and put forth our progressive agenda changing America and changing the world. Thank you.